foot stretch. Close the foot. The one that started the San Francisco Ballet. And he was the one that, that started it, yes. So you were the first prima ballerina for the Well, San I'm not sure I was a prima ballerina at that time. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I was there and was more than happy to be a part of his company. And that's, that's how I got into, uh, into professional dance. I first met Barbara Crockett, I believe, in the summer of 1986. Uh, as we began to talk, uh, I fell in love with this woman, uh, her commitment, her um, uh, genius at training dancers, uh, the proof of which was uh, in companies all over the world, there were Barbara Crockett dancers, and um, uh, when we talk about the aesthetics of dance, uh, we seem to be exactly on the same page. What, what, it, what happened when we did come to Sacramento, um, we found that we had really not looked into the culture, cultural life in Sacramento, and we found we'd come, come to a wasteland. Uh, and a breath, and a push, and a push, and a push. At age 92, <laughs> my mother plays tennis once or twice a week, does Pilates every week, and teaches seven classes a week. And she continues to ask why she doesn't have more to teach, and, and does auditions and rehearsals and everything with the Crockett Dean Ballet also, and her own Crockett Dean Apprentice Company. So. She's an inspiration to us It all. is an inspiration. She truly is 